Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. Good rising, good day. Nice to see everyone. Today is June 11th, 11. Number 11. It's a good number. Very powerful numerology number. Just getting this thing situated. Thank you for your patience, cooperation. Right, they said that in the movie years ago. Thank you for your cooperation. Robocop. Which is kind of the world that we're entering into. Hmm. Or that they want to enter into, which is, again, I say kind of the world we're entering into, but... All movies, everything you've ever seen is all designed to manipulate your consciousness. To design a will to tell your will what to be, what to do, what what to think, what to feel. And uh, it's all uh, it's all an illusion, the whole thing. Your will is your will, to be as you will. And never let anyone take your will from you. It's your will. Excuse me. Let me just lower this a bit. Some wonderful native music we're listening to here. Looking for North, Sacred Spirit album. Beautiful stuff. So again, never let your will be taken from you in any way. It's it is your divine energy. It's your divine divineness. It's the source of all that is. The creator is inside. That's your will. That's well of course it's observing. Observing you know, it's an observational force observing everything, but at the same time, the will is yours. It's an individualized gift of will, your willpower over whatever it is. I mean, you know, your parents, uh, they sort of subject you to their will until you're able to utilize, implement your own will, which is interesting. But it's your will. Your will be done or your will if you will will it to not be, you say, uh, it's not my wish, it's not my will. Anything you object to is not your wish, is not your will. In all aspects of creation and everything else has to, must, must respect that, appreciate that, acknowledge that, and adhere to that. Because that's, that is a universal law of will. So today we're going to check out the... Uh, the uh, Divine Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. We ask for a really good, good uh, message. See what's going on with this. And uh, hopefully everybody's having a beautiful day in every good way. We'll take the cards out. We're just going to take, take a nice deep breath now. Namaste. Recognize the divine in every aspect of creation. Ask for a wonderful message through these cards. The divine goddess, goddess guidance oracle cards. By Di um, this is um, virtue. Oh, Doreen, Doreen virtue. Yes, beautiful lady. She's I'm sure she has a lot of videos on YouTube you can check out. I may actually check out one of her videos after, after this. So we ask Great Spirit, Creator of all things, Prime Creator. We ask uh, God, Nature, the Source that, that is within the Self, the Atman, the Brahma, Brahman. Whatever name you want to give it. That which is, that which is not, the is of all isness. Is you is or is you ain't my baby. It's a song like that, I believe. So is the is of all isness. It's listening to uh, some uh, Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks uh, inspired channeling uh, this morning. It was very interesting. On Rampage, I think it was Ch Change Your Life through Rampage. 
very inter very interesting uh, stuff, definitely for anybody to uh, listen to for a while and uh, try to uh, be able to uh, apply that to your own your own uh, individualized, unique divine experience here. Oh, this card just jumped out, so we're gonna take it. Wow, endings and beginnings, Cali. The card jumped out, so we gotta take it. it jumped right out. There we go. Cali. Endings and beginnings. That's interesting. Every ending is a new beginning. You say everything comes to an end. All good things come to an end. Cali. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. That's, that's amazing. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Cali. Let's just see where Cali is here in the book. We'll check it out. I believe it's in alphabetical order. So, Cali. It's number 69. That's, that's, that's a wonderful number. I love 69. It's actually my, my number. My year. 69. Cali. Endings and beginnings. The old must be must be released so that the new can enter. Wow. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So anyone holding on to the old, the old stuff has no room for new to enter. No room. Message from Cali. I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order which only appears to be chaotic and over-changing in actuality. Everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. The dance of the universe is a happy one, with energy swirling and twirling in a never-ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of the weavings of the story of your life. Do not fear what appears to be a change or a loss. Do not fear what appears to be a change or a loss. It is only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. It is only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it in, as evidence that you're alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human essence. Callie. Various meanings of this card. Your current changes are for the best, for the best. Your current changes are for the best. Keep your thoughts positive as they're very powerful. Keep your thoughts positive as they are very powerful. Keep your thoughts positive as, as they are very pow powerful, powerful, powerful thoughts. Your thoughts are very powerful. What appears to be a loss is really the beginning of a happy new phase. Let the past go. It's time to move on. And it says uh, about Kali, pronounced Kali. Kali or Kali. This ultra-powerful Hindu goddess is feared by those who don't understand the natural cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Kali, or Kali, is the embodiment of Mother Nature. Wow, that's beautiful. This is, this is great. This is like Gaia and, and the balance of Mother Nature. And I actually put my the balance of nature shirt that I have on with the two wolves, the, the white wolf, and the black wolf, which one are you going to feed? And the balance of nature, mother nature, who cleanses away the old with natural storms and fires to make the ground fertile for new crops and life. Kali, Kali, or Kali, is the ultimate get-things-done goddess, and she's powerful. She's a powerful ally to those who call upon her like a wise strange mother 
she'll push you beyond your comfort zone to reach the heights of your potential. Awesome. Now that's, that's, for me, in many ways, that's universal confirmation because I just was reading something about um, on Instagram about going beyond your comfort zone and that the comfort zone is actually, it's good to have, of course, everyone should, should be able to attain a good comfort zone, but it's not something to retreat to and stay in always, which is awesome. So that was, that was a fantastic card. So, and that's, uh, again, that was uh, a wonderful reading today from those divine oracle cards. The divine goddess guidance oracle cards. And now we're going to look at these cards, which we did yesterday, and we're going to try it again. The numerology cards. And this is also uh, done by a beautiful lady, Michelle uh, Buckman. Michelle Buckman. So... In numerology, so that's awesome. And we're gonna do some shuffling real quick with this. Let's see what we come up with. Michelle Buckman, numerology. Mm. Excuse me. Oh wow. Had a little bit of a gassy drink. Some kombucha. So we asked for uh, uh, divine guidance, great spirit, God. Give us the right card with the right number for the right mathematical precision of our life right now to be in alignment, that we're in complete physical, spiritual, mental alignment in every way. And we'll just take it right from the top. Wow, beautiful card. Card number 61, beautiful orange with the blue Merkaba, and it's self-love, self-love, look at that. So anybody that's lacking in self-love, this is important, very important, look at that, beautiful. Card number 61, self-love, and 6-1 becomes 7, and 7 actually is the numerolog numerological equivalent of enlightenment and, and learning and knowing so it's beautiful. Six one becomes seven. Seven is very important. Very important number seven. And actually, that's another confirmation because I was just discussing something that happened to me when I was age seven. Self love. Self love, which also indicates survival and sustain. You know, being uh, sustainability. I should say, survival, uh, sustainability, self love. Beautiful. Let's actually go right to the book, and I'm really curious what um, um, Michelle, Michelle Buckman has to say about self-love. Wish they made the print a little bit, a little bit larger on some of these, these, these uh, small book cards. Pretty small, small print, look. Anyway. Number 61, again, which translates to 7 if you add them together uh, in numerology. This card indicates a need to focus your attention on loving and believing in yourself. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to make your relationship with yourself your number one priority, as this is the key to happiness and the manifestation of your dreams. Rather than dwell upon your shortcomings, you must accept and embrace who you are. So don't dwell on any shortcomings, which also is speaking to me in many ways. And hopefully it's, it serves to speak to you in many ways as I share. It is now time to start treating yourself like a friend by replacing your, your negative self-talk with positive affirmations, which lines up well with um, positive affirmations for sure with uh, um, Abraham Hicks or Esther, Esther Hicks uh, with her uh, Rampage uh, videos, and there's many on, online, it says uh, replacing your negative self-talk with positive affirmations, and positive affirmations are wonderful, uh, definitely a way to turn it around as far as our experience. Statements that affirm that you're lovable, worthy, 
and perfect, just as you are, help raise your energy, vibration, and improve your life circumstances. Well, perfection, I don't think anything is really perfect. Perfection for me is more of a, a stagnation. It might be reaching a, a certain level that's that's magnificent, beyond, 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 but it's also perfection. I think uh, it's in the imperfection that you find fulfillment. Right, Mama Girl Cat? Where's my girl cat? What a good girl. She's a sweetheart. You want to see my girl cat? Here, come here. Oh, come here. Say hello. Say hello. Look, look at this. Look at this cat. You say hello? Huh? Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Go ahead. What a kid. What a kid. Beautiful. Beautiful girl. So, here we go. With positive affirmations, statements that affirm that you are lovable, worthy, and perfect, just as you are, help raise your energy vibration and improve your life circumstances. Absolutely, for sure, improve your life circumstances and so, with self-love. Set aside time to write down all the things you admire about yourself. That's awesome. Such as your sense of humor, your smile, your creativity, your capacity to love, Every little thing counts, and nothing is insignificant or minor. Awesome. I agree with that. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm of cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to love and believe in yourself. Remember, you're an ongoing work in progress and you didn't choose to come here to be the perfect person with the perfect life. Everything in your life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself. So nurture yourself with love. And the affirmation that she leaves here, which is looks beautiful, is I love and believe in myself and make my dreams come true. Again, I love and believe in myself and make my dreams come true. And I say it, let's say it together. I love, I love and believe in myself and I make my dreams come true. I love and I believe in myself and I make my dreams come true. I love and I believe in myself and I make my dreams come true. I love and I believe in myself and I make my dreams come true. Wow, that's that's beautiful. This was this was amazing. Again. Michelle Buckman, numerology, guidance cards, card number 61, which translates to seven. Beautiful. That was amazing. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna actually uh, keep that card out for later to check it out more. And it's a beautiful orange, beautiful orange color, orange red. Beautiful, warms the heart, self-love, warms the heart, the color. That's amazing. I love that. And uh, my got a little itch on my nose, so evidently, self love. There's a lot of money coming. Oh, is that the palm? Palm is itchy. Nose is itchy. Money, money, money's coming. Lots and lots of good, good money coming. So here we go. Now, we're gonna do another reading real quick with these uh, beautiful cards, sacred, sacred geometry. Here we go. Oracle activations from this beautiful lady. On, and we're gonna do that, and here we go. Check out these cards. These are beautiful cards. We ask for the guidance in this activation deck from Great Spirit, God, Creator, in all things, of all things, He is of all isness in us and around us, going through everything in creation. Excuse me. And um, I ask for a wonderful, wonderful message, cosmic, cosmic connection message, creation mes message, our existence, what our existence is about, what we're supposed to do, our purpose in life, our connections, our relationships with any, with everyone and anything. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take it right.
right from the top. Again, wow, this is the root chakra. Same colors coming in, pretty much the same colors, this, this wonderful warm, this warmth, the root chakra. And the root chakra, it says, the frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane both in our bodies as well as in the physical world. So it's about passion. The root chakra is passion. So have a passionate love for yourself. We go right to the root chakra. Let's see, where is the root chakra? It's here. <laughs> here we go. The first one out of all of them. Okay, we got the root chakra. The flower of life is a geometric shape recognized by many cultures all over the planet. It consists of 13 equal circles that intersect at the middle of each circle, creating a perfectly proportioned flower. As a symbol, the flower of life represents the universe as a whole, as well as the harmony in which all the separate components of the universe work together. This beautiful pattern is often used to indicate our understanding of our connection as humans, as, a spirit, as spiritual beings, to the whole. The color red is associated with the root or base chakra. It is linked to our survival instincts and to our ability to ground and identify ourselves in the physical world. It is connected to our sense of prosperity, security, and to our physical health. The location of the root chakra is at the base of the spine. It also is the seat of the kundalini, instinctive primal energy, the force, and the first chakra is believed to be the generator of life. Red stimulates love, passion, excitement, courage, strength, power, and persistence. Its sense is smell. Awesome. Wow. I can smell all of it. It smells good. Does it smell good to you? It smells good to me. It smells really good to me. Now, the work part of it is to take a moment to mentally scan your body. How does it feel? Is there anything it wants to tell you? How grounded do you feel? How deep do your roots grow, go, or grow, I should say? How deep do your roots grow? Do you feel connected to Mother Earth? And how about the cosmos? Contemplate your connection to the physical plane. When is the best time you walk, you, you walk barefoot outside? That's, that's actually amazing. I'm actually barefoot now, and I'm identifying with that walking barefoot outside, which is a good way of grounding for sure, connecting to Mother Earth. And again, this is just uh, to go over this real quick one more time. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing. Scan your body. How do you feel? How do you want to feel? How grounded are you? What about your roots? How deep do they go? Do you feel connected to Mother Earth? And what about the cosmos? Well, I feel connected to Mother Earth and I feel connected to the cosmos. I am the cosmos. I am creation. I am. Be careful what you attach I am to. Very important. Your I am is basically your experience. So I wish everyone higher consciousness awesome awareness, overcoming spirituality, and soul wisdom, always, and to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wiser each and every moment with self-love and everything else in alignment, all your chakras, all your energy in alignment with for the greater good, connected to your higher self, the creator of all things. So I say namaste.
say thank you, 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 thank you for all, all of it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate this. I hope this resonates with everybody. Have a great day. It's great to share with you.